we now we basically override this reflection information that was this weird green color it's actually now a little bit less weird green color because now it's actually reflecting what it sees here uh, we also see that we have quite a low resolution um, so uh, what we can do is uh, oh can't we do that Ah shit! I oh, okay. Well, maybe I misread it. I I thought they changed that you can specify the resolution for these as well, like you can with the skylight. You know, when you can say like I want this many pixels of resolution. Apparently, no, it's not that important right now. But what we should definitely do is uh, get rid of the cube again and place our reflection kind of where we want it. Sometimes you can actually also place reflection captures inside of objects if they don't have complex geometry so that they see outsides. Uh, when I worked on that island we actually did that on, on several cars because uh, we placed the capture actor inside the car and it was basically capturing perfectly everything around the car to project it onto the car. Um, that was really really nice. Uh, this is still not working. I need to. I need to ask Epic why this is so weird when you when you're using that view mode uh, that it's not really showing anything. Okay, let's decrease the size so we only uh, whoops get it on the robot and the. Um, the bike here. In general, you want to always. Uh, oh, hello, fog sheet. Uh, you want to always make this as small as possible because you also get um, resolution back. So we might want to decrease it even a little bit further. Uh, maybe let make. Let's do 400. Okay and we can even boost this artificially to get some more fake uh, contrast on, on what we're actually doing here. This robot is looking super fucking dark and that annoys me a little bit. So I'm trying to find out why are you so dark. Uh, if I look at lighting only it actually doesn't look that bad. But it's still super fucking dark. Um, I think this might actually be the, yeah, okay, we, I think we're gonna fake it. So there's two things that we could potentially do. Number one is um, we can actually uh you know try to deactivate distance fields on the robot because it is the distance field occlusion that is killing that robot also uh one important thing uh if we go into the base color it is i i would brighten it slightly um however since this is a nice scene and we can fake however we want we can actually do all the stupid shit that you normally wouldn't do for a game. So we can just go in here, get the spotlight, and just like. Uh, trying to see something here. Did 
So one of the big questions is, do we actually want specularity or do we just want to like fill this? There's a pretty cool trick if you are using dynamic lights and you basically only want to have it as a diffuse light. Now you can see we get the specularity here. There's a value, it's called min roughness. And what it does is it basically makes the surface, do you see that? It's like, it's like I would set the roughness of the object to one. So now it's basically only a diffuse light. So it's just like making it brighter without adding any kind of like reflection. Uh, if you, however, do want to add reflection, then you can do so uh, by adjusting the values uh, again, kind of like this. So now we do get some specular. Uh, but you need to decide for yourself how much you actually want it. What I would do, for example, is I, I would probably do some fake lighting on that guy. Kind of like uh, trying to um, highlight certain features of him in a better way. So let me try it like this. Uh, whoop, no, this one. All right. And I'm trying to set the source radius. So I'm, I'm, I'm pushing this right now on purpose because I want to see what I'm getting here like for reals <laughs> and um, I might actually choose a little bit more of an artistic value here and I'm kind of trying to get some sort of like see that like just a little bit of interest and rim light on them. There's an important thing that we can do and that is uh, down here somewhere. Let's search for it. So you can say this affects channel uh, 0. I can also turn that off and say channel 1 and then I can use the robot and say channel one. Did you see what happened? It's like I can crank up this light now all the way I want without affecting any of the environment. I'm only using it to do some like uh, artistic lighting basically on on that robot. So if I have that scene here now you can see I'm basically getting all those nice highlights here. And the cool thing is now I can actually start faking this even more. So we can flip this light around a bit and see here. So now we're getting something. Um, I'm going back to the initial shot and now we're uh, going to use the temperature. And, bip, 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 bip. and we're trying to go down a bit. Oh, and it fucks up because of this. Haha. -ha. So now what we can do is we can actually kind of like sculpt the lighting for this scene in a way that uh, it's actually quite um, yeah it's, it's it's like sculpting the light you know it's like we we're like hey we want this to come from from here you know and now we kind of like get this orange lighting coming from the back which is basically just a fake lighting coming uh, from the lights of this house but you can see we already get a lot more pop on on the stuff that we want to see um, what we also should do is we should actually um, add 
some very soft point lights here um, that don't cast any shadows like this and let me quickly check the values that I'm using 1700 so temperature 1700 okay so we make the radius a bit smaller as well uh, 300 maybe Oops. because this is something like since we don't have light mass to actually bake out any kind of um, uh, global illumination from here we kind of like need some sort of um, fill lights here to to help us out with that Whoops. So I just want to get to something uh, before we can kind of like continue. We can also go in here, channel, and go to channel. Uh, one, we can activate both, so it basically gets affected by both. Um, we should actually fix that on the robot uh, afterwards as well, uh, because I deactivated one channel, uh, the default channel for the robot. And what we can do here is we can uh, just add some highlights now So this is really, I'm just like trying to make something quickly, so uh, obviously we should spend some more polish on this. So if we um, go back to our uh, folder, and if we take this shot versus, let's say, come on, I would say that we are already in a in a better shape for what we what we have when we look at Simon's paintings. Um, I think we're still not there value-wise completely. Uh, I think we still need to brighten the house more. But I think that you would agree with me that this is um, closer to the overall values of the reference. So I think this is actually a fairly good achievement for today. Um, I, I think there's still a lot of things that we that we actually can and, and should fix. Um, but yeah, I think this is uh, still um, a very very good start um, to to improve this um, environment. Uh, we can also slightly, of course, reduce some of these things. I just wanted to make something a little bit poppy for the end. Um, but yeah, I, I think that we um, uh, we will still have some work um, to do on this and just balance out the different elements. Maybe that highlight is so strong. Maybe we want some little bit more on top of here. But we, we can still like figure uh, these things out. Um, but as I said, I think this is quite an improvement already. It's uh, I also believe it's uh, 
closer to um, to what we can see in in certain scenes. Like if we look at this, for example. Um, so yeah, um, I think a lot of the rest actually will will come from even more work with the grading. But I also have to say, I think we will not exactly reach those results. And the reason for that is most likely this. If we, with those strong and saturated values, it will be very hard getting to that desaturated look. I mean, even if I go uh, into post volume and I desaturate it, it will not get that look because what we, um, it comes from the textures. So yeah, uh, I, I'm gonna close down on the first session for now. Um, I hope you guys uh, think this is interesting and hopefully it's not too fucking long. Uh, I try to make these videos really in one go because I think it's shitty if I start cutting stuff or uh, you, you don't see what I'm doing and suddenly it's like, oh, hey, why is it or orange over there? So yeah, I'll, I'll try to keep all that stuff in and yes, I hope you like it. I hope you, you learned something and I also hope you have fun because uh, I think that's what it also should be about. I mean, we're making games or cool scenes and so it would be pretty sad if we wouldn't enjoy it. So yeah, um, please give feedback on the stuff so I know how to improve and uh, so I know what to make better the, the next time. But anyways, um, thanks a lot for watching and um, have a great time. Thank you.